What's going on guys? Welcome to another show. And today I want to show you a cooler way to keep your collections other than keeping them in hard sleeves or these protective stuff to put in your notebook. Stay tuned. Okay, so what I have here is delivery from what I ordered at Etsy.com and matter of fact it's from the seller. Um, which I'll feature here in the channel. And you'll see right now pop in. His name is Pokey Min at Twitter. And uh, basically, I stopped, stumbled upon the Pokemon community there and um, saw him take a post. And of course, he posted some of these things, uh, which are cases similar to my last episode of where you, know, you can store your card like the precious collector box but this one has special arts bordering the case which i fell in love instantly because not only will keep your card safe but look cool at the same time and got these at 25 bucks a pop i think it's very reasonable and helping a community you know like this guy putting hard earned work and effort and you know, there's one thing about keeping it plain and simple and just like a hard case and slapping some gold stuff in there but look at this one it has the color and so sure enough this one looking at that is featuring the one and only infamous Umbreon card so uh, all right, I have to break my gloves again and be right back all right, I got my handy dandy gloves here keep the case nice and clean and, wow so nice Um, so I'm just going to have, show them all to you guys, and then I'm going to cut and show you each as far as how they look like once they're installed. So this is for that Umbreon one. Very nice. This one is for it. Wow. Very nice art. And this one is for the Giratina art from Lost Origins. So exciting. And then, of course, I look forward to buying I think the, one, the other ones he had was like for uh, now this looks like the Lugia art. And there's part of Lugia's wings and legs. That's really nice. Yeah. Can't wait to show you all. Like, and I have three other more. You guessed it. Yeah, go ahead and head right on my list of the Etsy store. There, I'm no way by any means affiliated with the guy. I'm not just want to support a Pokemon community, especially someone who does this for our cards. If you're thinking about collecting and I'm sure there are others that you can see out there, but I think this is the closest, in my opinion, the closest you will get from getting a cool art bonus. Because this is a bonus, you know? I mean, the art itself is a bonus. And you see that this is the Sleeping Charizard one from the UPC. I mean, how cool is that? Leading the tree and the fire that Charizard has created. So, how cool is that? And then another one, which is, I believe, the. Yeah, the Mewtwo versus Charizard one. And I think. This is Charizard's wings and the rocks that Mewtwo came from. 
the blast that he's about to come out. So that's cool. And last but not least, this one would be for the Godzilla like Charizard. And that looks like the fire. There you go. Protruding. Yeah, how cool is that, y'all? So let's go ahead and install these guys. Be right back. A few moments later. All right, so after cracking it open, we're just removing the four Phillips screws, the screws in here. Seller was nice enough to give a perfect size glove. Um, so you don't have to worry about getting one. And I guess how it's going to go is can't believe it is even such a nice quality print here it's not like just regular paper it's cardboard feel looking like and first card is going to go in there is this great thing that my daughter pulled oh such a great card look at that such a great card so majestic I'm sure if I graded it, it would be like PSA 10. So, it would be really nice to do another one. One to keep, and then one, two, grade or something like that. I would say, preferably, it's nice to see this in this case in there nice and flush I think it is okay so it's there then it goes there how cool is that Continuing the building and surroundings, even down to the line there. And then I need to clean it out a little bit. Anyway, this doesn't come with it. It's came from the precious collector box, by the way. So, I'll have one, get one beforehand so you can do these kind of cleaning. Try to put it against the light. Yeah, such a pretty. Everything goes like that. Alright, and then you just screw it back on. So I'll put, put all the links in the comment section down below so you, it'll direct you to the guys at Sea Store, if you're interested in buying one of these, um, again, I recommend you guys support him so he can keep doing this for all our cards. I mean, don't you agree that it's a pretty nice way to store your cards safely? And Yeah. There you go, guys. A way to store your cards. And of course, you may like it in a PSA graded card or BSG. I mean, it's kind of thicker than, I'd say, feels like it's, you know, CGC um, and a lot slimmer than a. 
Beckett graded card, but yeah, you don't get to see these nice art around the card. Such a nice way to do that. So I'm gonna do the rest of the cards, fast forward it there. One hour later. All right, so putting the last screw in this guy and we would be nearly finished. Just remember to use a screwdriver rather than a power tool. It's not recommended because you can easily crack the corners. Be very gentle pushing this in. Don't be like super hard on it. Doesn't have to be super tight. Just when it locks, it locks. But look at that, y'all. Nicely done with nice art and completing the tree picture so you can leave it like this of course and they will be nice and flat if you want to feature them when you're selling them in a showcase box at a card show or something like that that you will see them face down uh, up but yeah that's how you would do it but of course this is for my collection it's gonna stay with me for a while and there's that Umbreon card, the wonderful Giratina with all that jazz. Now, I'm not sure if I got it on the right side, but this card is just super, super dope. And yeah, again, one of my favorite artists is Lubia. Um, hope to pull some more, that Japanese version. Maybe that's what I'll put in here. But it looks like it's tailored for the English one, considering the wingspan all the way there and the feet. Uh, the wingspan there, so that's really, really cool. And the Charizard, another one with Charizard's wings being seen. Of course, the video doesn't do justice. Um, yeah, you would have to see it to believe it as far as. Really, I mean, this is probably my least favorite out of all, but uh, because there's not a lot going on, but it does continuing the fire and the rocks and stuff. I mean, I said these things were on fire too, but yeah, you know, and this is my favorite out of the UPC ones because it has the continuous cartoon art of the field. You see how it expands the field, the, tree, the trees, and logs and stuff like that so great art by that all right so what i expanded on doing is also what was recommended on twitter by the seller if you want them standing up then you need to buy this ultra pro graded card stand um and it says for beckett graded cards and you can actually stand one and add about the little over 20 bucks or something like that and uh, this does work on CGC cards too uh, CGC grade cards this is not for PSA because PSA is a little skinnier than the holder and uh, it's just not going to stand so you need to get the clear PSA stand that says full PSAs but yeah, they're pretty durable and very, very good. It has the Ultra Pro art there that you will see. And yeah, so basically it looks like you will be pushing the art like that. So like that. And there you go. How nice is that? I mean it's just the you know it doesn't do justice as far as you know lighting goes but yeah there you go guys stands like that all right so we are at pokey main's twitter and uh hope you appreciate this but um so this is where i got his stuff and if you go to his Etsy shop, it'll lead you to boom his storefront, and yeah, so 
there you go. Like I said, it's twenty five dollars a piece. But he also had the red Pikachu V Max, which I'm highly interested in as well. He also added um, the sleeping Dragonite and the Reggie Drago, which I'm still trying to chase of all. And he also has the Mew uh, V Max R alternate, which is great. And the Blaziken we are I mean, I want to get them all, but you know. Um, and uh, I need more space to display them. They, they are really nice. And yeah, they have one for the EVs as well, which I'm also interested. Um, looks like they got one for the, well, for Machamp alternate, uh, which I don't have yet. Of course, the Zapdos, Galarians, Birds, uh, the Mewtwo, that's pretty cool. Um, I could use one because I have like three copies of that guy and needs it. And man, the Paul and Diago arts are awesome too. Um, considering how it has nice background and arts. It has the Aerodactyl as well. And man, oh, so much. There you go, the EVs and shiny Charizards. I mean, I might as well just get all these rather than just get it graded because I, I don't know man I mean considering how some of these like the Rayquaza which I don't have yet and these Leafeon which I don't have yet man so nice so he has all these I, I, I forget that he has all these but um yeah and even that Rayquaza and other alternate ones as well so they're pretty cool a second page what else did we got a shining Mew one. Uh, I guess that's from the um, XY Evolution. Jolteon, Flareon, the Arceus one. That's cool. Oh, finally, the Gengar and the alternate Umbreon. And this, man. Um, I can't wait to pull this guy. Yes, I do have the box set to pull this guy, but we'll see, we'll see. And let me see, let me click on that. Um, I don't know, I mean, it has the, you know, the clouds and stuff. I'd probably say not, the best work um, considering you know the border is really messed it up right but yeah I don't know I'm not dating it but yeah we'll see but this Gengar one yeah, I want to pull it too, but need to pull it first. That's kind of cool. See that? So it expands the art. But yeah, so you can go and follow him and check out his Etsy store and support him. Uh, everybody needs to support each other. And yeah, it's very, very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah. Even how... He even has, or even testing, a graded card case. Where if your card is graded already, well, why not put it in an art thing too? So, that's really cool. So if your card is already graded, then you can have extra protection by putting it in that kind of case. And making it look cool. How cool is that? So the guy's really thinking, you know, outside the box here and... Making it very, very cool for collectors. Um, you know, making your boring PSA case, you know, stand out amongst the rest. You get this. So, just a recommendation. You know, I'm not pushing y'all to buy. I'm not affiliated with the guy and you know, making money pushing him too. So, be kind of nice. But yeah, anyways, that's how, you know, I got it. Well, 
I hope you enjoyed the show. And again, I'll put all the links down below. And uh, yeah, it'd be kind of nice to do it. If they're looking at you know, a graded card or something like that. It's up to you how you want to do it. But of course, it's just one of the few recommendations, you know, um, another option for you to display your cards. So other than that, hope you enjoy the show. Remember this, God loves you. We love you and Jesus Lord. Bye now.